three. Remember the radio? Radio? Stick? Hitting in the stick? Let's go! Let's go! Come on, coach. Just help me get started. Next day. No. Look, whatever your name is, Therese. All right, Therese. Let me lay out some difficulties for you. Snow. You don't have any. It's 900 degrees out there. Time. You don't have any. The Olympics are in three months. And me. You don't have me. As far as I'm concerned, the sport of bobsledding no longer exists. I don't want to do it. I don't want to coach it. And most of all, and I mean most of all, I don't want to be within 2,000 miles of anyone who does. Now, did you follow all that? And how come you still have that post on the wall? Is that what's bothering you? There. Is that better? Are you happy? Like I said, my name is Doris Bannock. I'm Ben Bannock's son. I haven't seen this picture in 20 years. Huh. Would you look at me then? Ooh. Would you look at me now? Please, Mr. Blitzer. Just give me a chance. If I don't have what it takes, we well, forget the whole thing. Believe me, kid, you do not have what it takes. But you thought my father did. Your father was one of the toughest competitors I ever saw. He ran the 100 meters in 10 flat. Well, I run it in 9-9. Come on. Coach me. Sorry. You're a couple decades late. Oh, I see. But it might be easy for you to walk away from me, Mr. Blitzer. But you can't walk away from this. 20 years ago, you came down here to see if you could make a Jamaican sprinter into a bobsledder. And you never got that chance. Look at me, Mr. Blitzer. I'm your chance. Take it. Nice group here. Now for two of your lucky people, our trip to the Olympics starts right now. <laughs> 